Okay, I want to go over Act 1 of Othello and give a short overview of what happened. So, in Scene 1, um, Iago didn't get the... I'm just going to kind of read off my notes and talk about anything else. So, Iago didn't get the promotion he was expecting. Really, the uh, promotion went to Othello. He's not happy about that, and he really doesn't like Othello. And so, that isn't good. And Rodrigo is paying Iago to get him to... So, that way, Rodrigo gets to marry Desdemona, Barantio's wife. So they go to Barbancho's house and raise a ruckus, telling, Hey, Barbancho, your daughters ran off with Othello, the Moor. And so they rouse Barbancho to kind of go after him. And they, they say that, Hey, your daughters left you for that, but, you know, as Iago, you know, I'm on your side. And so they go to get the daughter. In scene two, Iago is able to confirm that, yes, um, Othello and Desdemona are getting married. Desdemona being Barbantio's wife, or excuse me, Barbantio's daughter. Um, so when they go to see Othello, um, Cassio comes and tells Othello that the Duke wants to see him, and then Barbantio shows up uh, with Rodrigo to kind of attack Othello, and Othello's like, hey, 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 what are you guys doing? And he's like, I'm upset because you took my wife. Um, they're like, hey, let's go talk to the Duke about it and let the Duke decide. So in scene three, we meet the Duke, and he's got messengers coming in to tell him, hey, the Turkish army is attacking Rhodes, but no, they're really moving to Cyprus. And then Barantia shows up, and he's like, hey, here, help would have been useful. But he's like, sorry, I've got another issue. And they talk about how his daughter's been taken away from him. So he's like, okay, well, let's hear it. And Othello defends. He's like, hey... First of all, go get Desdemona so you can hear her side of the story so you guys know that I'm not using black magic because Barbantio thought, hey, there's no way my daughter would ever go with this Othello. And here we kind of see some racism. And as far as Othello is African-American and Barbantio doesn't think that his daughter would go with an African-American man as a husband. And then Othello tells him how Barbantio would invite him over and he doesn't know much about anything except for war. So, so Othello says that, you know, he'd talk to Desdemona, or Desdemona would talk to him and say, hey, I love your stories, and because of that, I like you a lot, kind of thing. And so because Arbantio hears the story, he's like, okay, well, because Desdemona, and then Desdemona shows up and confirms what Othello said, and she's like, sorry, Dad, I like Othello. And so Arbantio, the dad, is like, okay, I guess this marriage is going to go down. I'm okay with it. And so then... The Duke reminds Othello, hey, Cyprus is being attacked. I'd like you out there. I know there's a like, skilled guy out there, but apparently you're better. Um, so you need to get it out there right away. And he's like, okay, well, where's Desdemona going to go? And Desdemona can't go with her father because she's not in her father's home anymore. And so she wants to go with, with him. And Othello's like, hey, I can do that. That'd be okay. I wouldn't get distracted. And so they leave to go do their stuff. And Iago then talks to Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Rodrigo wants to kill himself and drown himself, but Iago's like, hey, no, no, we can still get you Desdemona back. Just go sell all your stuff and get, raise a bunch of money. I have a plan for doing this because Othello is going to be gone, and if Desdemona stays with um, Rodrigo's wife or something, or not Rodrigo's wife, but someone's wife, like Cassio's wife or something like that, then um, they'll be able, she'll be able, like, Desdemona... She, Iago's the point is that Desdemona fell for Othello quickly, so she'll fall away from him quickly, and then when that happens, that Rodrigo can slip into there and have her as a wife. So that's kind of the plan that Iago has. In the end, we see that, hey, he just wants the money, and Iago's literally like, eh, fools and all. I can get m money from fools easily. So we see Iago's kind of character. Of he's just in it for the cash and swishing around his loyalty. So that's kind of a brief summary of what happened in chapter Act 1 of Othello.